Right, now this video is going to be about how I build this, an Arduino AC power monitor. In the description there's a whole heap of links to the different files that I've used to build it. And let's get into it. Alright, now it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for this guy who uh, came up with a library and he actually used to sell these on uh, Tindy, little little boards, um, but he sort of stopped doing it so I uh, had to make my own. So that's how I got started doing it. Alright, now so the first file that I've got in the description, that's going to be the sketch that I've got on the Arduino. Below that I've got a link to um, the GitHub where you can get the library. I've also got a link to the, a picture which shows you how the uh, IC connects through to the transformers that will measure the voltage and the current. I've got a, a zip file with uh, the Gerber files in it which you need for the PCB for the ATM 90E26. Also got a link to a file which I've used as a shield adapter for this board. The reason why I didn't go ahead and make the whole board as the shield is because if I wanted to then later on put it on a mega or um, a different board on its own I have that ability that flexibility I've been able to just use the same design on many different applications. There's an also a file of the components that the board is based around but um, you can substitute in components that have the same characteristics which, which is what I had to do because when I originally made it I thought these were all easily available but um, I couldn't get them all so that sort of comes in so I've got different uh, capacitors and stuff on there but you know what it works anyway so I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna go around trying to chase certain components that I've designed it around when you know you can just substitute for those all right now this was just a quick video of all the files that you need in order to get going with this project now I'll give you this warning that this is a project that could seriously hurt you so only contemplate doing it if you actually have the skills to do it safely. Alright now the next video is going to be how I calculate the shunt values for the CT and how I calculated the voltage divider circuit for the transformer to measure the voltage.